Hello and welcome to Mac Warrior Online. I haven't made one of these videos for like a month or something and I want to talk about why. This is me uh, uh, like testing out a you know commando build here and walking around to uh, shoot some mechs and stuff so I'll be doing that on the side and walking around the map and talking about the things I um which are holding me back from coming, seriously coming back and making videos of this game. I mean, I play a match here and there still, but I just don't record many of them. Or even if I record, I don't upload the stuff for other reasons. Anyways, let's talk about um, the stuff which is missing for, or holding me back, that is. Uh, one of them is the Mac Lab. Like, I mean, it's still in a 720p freaking window. I cannot even make that thing full screen. Like, it's hilarious that I am making, uh, when I test out new builds on my Macs, that I load up a web application on my second screen, or, or like, open a browser on my second screen, load up a, web a website, and I do the build there. And then I copy it into the inside my own Mac lab after I have finished tweaking the build around. Because it's easier to do on a website than to do in, in the in-game mech lab. Like, that is stupid to me. Like, like cannot, can you guys, developers, like, not look at the freaking web applications everyone is using? Every single freaking person on the forums who makes a lot of builds are using those things. They are even linking them on the forums. Can you not look at that and this, uh, look at it and say, that's intuitive. That's how it should be done. Let's do it that way. <sighs> too difficult. Oh well. That's first of the things, like the, the tiny freaking window we are still forced to deal with and you cannot even freaking record that very well because it's... It, it, when, when you go out of this game into that, it changes your like from so 1080p to 720p and that is hilariously annoying. So yeah. Also, uh, I haven't really liked the last couple patches. I don't like where the development uh, seems to be heading. It, it, it's like uh, band-aid fixes to things, it feels like. And it also feels like, uh, here is your new Mac. Please buy it for MC. A couple of weeks later. Here is another new Mac. Buy it for MC. We didn't really fix anything, any of the big issues. But here, look at this Mac. And we here we put on sale all these like, you know, things you can hang in your cockpit. Except you are, don't play anymore of looking at your cockpit because we have third person view. We are trying to make this an arcade game. Uh, what? I don't, I don't get it. Uh, in my honest opinion, uh, if you want to make a simulation, I mean, this game started as a serious simulation with a big learning curve. It this still does have uh, a quite big learning curve, but uh, now it feel, now it's starting to feel like we are trying to head into like some sort of a uh, middle point between arcade shooter and a uh, simulation, right? Because we have third person view and stuff. See, we are somewhere in between, which is like a, a simulation guys who really want a simulation are going to look at this like, why is this here? We are playing simulation, aren't we? And the arcade shooters are uh, arcade shooter guys who want a simple, easy to fa fast arcade shooter to play are going to look at this like, uh, this is not really what I'm looking for because this is way too high learning curve and game is a little too slow or something along those lines. Depends how, how fast people want, uh, want stuff, but that's what I'm looking at here, uh, or what it seems to me now. And so we are in this weird state where it's like not one or not the other, and it's not like functions very well. And another big issue I have with this third person view. How do you scout now? Well, uh, you scout by hiding and then rotating the camera to look around the corner. Can you see that? Can you see that? Huh? Can you... Poke around a little more, like this. Then you look around more around the camera. Right? What do I do if I was in the first person view? Right? Uh, I would have to, like, expose my torso to actually look there. In third person view, I don't. And this annoys me. It takes away all the strategical layers. There's a reason Planet Side 2, for example, took away third-person view uh, from infantry combat. 
which was in original plant side. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, now that is in. I don't know why, but it is in. And so, um, uh, yeah. Another thing I am annoyed a little about is all the like balancing issues because, uh, like I said, it seems like Band-Aid fixes, but here, look at this shiny new mech. And uh, that also creates more balancing issues because then you have to take into account all the new mechs you are putting in, right? And I understand this game can never be truly balanced. Most games cannot never be truly balanced, uh, balanced. So that's fine with me. I don't mind that my commando is one of the worst mechs in the game, but uh, it's fine. I like playing my commando. But the, uh, I still think personally, personally think that all the damage numbers should be tweaked down and the game uh, made a little slower because of this issue. It's called center torso, right? In BattleTech, the tabletop, um, you don't do kills like this, right? You don't shoot at one part of the body and it dies simply because the, uh, of the random hit location system. So, uh, which forces battles to be, artificially forces them to be longer, because you hit all sorts of over the mech. Here it doesn't happen unless, uh, well, if players are really good, and that's why pinpoint weaponry such as ghost rifles and PVCs are so strong all the time, because you can hit pinpoint uh, shots like that. You can hit the certain body part you want to hit, and do full damage to it. And since it's also obviously, well, you just hit that and things die. Don't have to hit anywhere else. The head is the other part, but the, uh, well, center torso is much easier to hit on most max than the head. Okay, um, let's move on from balance because I don't really want to talk way too much about the balance. It's it's something which will always fluctuate around, so I, I'm fine with that. I, I'm hoping they will do something about it, but let's briefly talk about environments and maps. Because we moved on to this 12 versus 12 now, uh, that means there is suddenly 8 more mechs on the maps. Yet, there does not seem to be much done with these maps, I mean, these things are ridiculously small. I mean, imagine 24 mechs on River City where you can pretty much shoot from one spawn to the other spawn with PPCs by jump jetting on the hopper spawn and shooting down. Then you cram 24 mechs on this. I still don't agree putting in 12 versus 12 before you had all the maps decide to like freaking cater for that. Because you cannot choose the map when you hit battle. You're put into a map. So that is a little annoying to me. I, I mean, I don't mind. The 12 versus 12 is good uh, on the bigger maps. But when you get River City or River City Night or one of these maps, it's just not fun. Uh, there is very little reason for me to run my commando build um, with uh, like these massively big Excel engines because... I can't benefit from them in most of these situations. There is simply not enough room with 24 mechs on this map to actually try and have a city fight, uh, like uh, play ring around the rosy with uh, another light mech around somewhere without someone else like standing nearby and just shooting me to bats. Just doesn't happen when you have 24 mechs. That is my big issue with the maps. And uh, 12 versus 12 itself is not the issue, uh, at least not to me. The maps are. The other th thing to talk about maps, we are we are using CryEngine 3 here, right? Uh, folks know what does it do. So why do these things not break still, right? I mean, I cannot... I am in a 25 ton mech that things should be like crushed, so to this freaking tree. I don't mind the, that if these trees wouldn't like set on fire from laser fire, because but that would be like awesome. Like... Uh, that would be like the mini mini thing to do. But why don't they not get knocked over? It's like, we are this far into the uh, open beta development. We have, this game has been in open beta for a long time. Can you not have put these things in? Can you not have fixed the collision detection of mechs? Uh, which used to be in the, like, uh, I am not talking about collision detection. I'm talking about the, uh, like, actual collision where you knock mechs down by walking on them 
can you not have fixed that by now? I mean, we have played this game for how long? Ugh. It's like... It, it just doesn't feel like I'm in a stompy robot when, uh, like, stuff is not breaking around me when I, like, crash through them. I mean, I can kind of understand why these buildings don't fall down. So there is some cover to deal with, right? But even then, having some of these buildings be breakable or pods of them be breakable, like have freaking pods falling off when you are shooting at them, that would be fantastic. And it would be a reason to shoot the buildings down to remove cover. But apparently that is like too difficult to do or something. I don't know. Guess, yeah. Like I said, it's been in development for quite a while and I am missing all sorts of tiny little features which would like put even more immersion into the game. Instead we are getting, hey, have this new mech and we are maybe bringing out clans this year. Something I cannot agree with. I mean, if you look at the game balance, even the current mechs and weapons are not all that well balanced. Part of it is that that freaking center torso reason. And part of it is other reasons. Uh, simple, like, there is co constant fiddling with numbers, adding ghost heat on things and whatnot. And then imagine... Because in, if you take canon rules, clan tech is simply better than inner sphere tech. So imagine if we just slap in clan tech, take canon rule set uh, and uh, slap those in. Just like this game was uh, when it originally came, it was basically canon rule set. And then you slap in the uh, uh, clan tech using those and put them against inner sphere max and the clan max will win every single time because their tech is straight up better. Okay, there has been solutions on how to fix this Q problem and I'm not gonna touch it because there is like, there is so many opinions, there is so many solutions given. I'm hoping developers will at least get that one right. Hopefully. So I'm gonna, not gonna touch on that subject too much. I just cannot see the point of adding clans anytime freaking soon and they, uh, if you are following the timeline they gave us uh, way back. Clans should be coming out this year, right? After launch, clans should be coming out in like sometime next year. I, I can't remember the exact date, but clans should be coming out sometime next year. At latest. And it's like, well, the game is in this state. And if they ram in the clans, then it really feels like a, a cash grab instead of like, Let's try to make a really good freaking game everyone wants to play. Because uh, uh, to me right now it doesn't feel like we are trying to make a really good game. It feels more like, well, here have this new freaking mech you can buy for NC first. And then we'll bring it out for two weeks later. Because we know a lot of you are going to buy it for MC. And here let's make all these freaking cockpit things on sale. So you can grab those for cheap too. And then two weeks later, redo that. It, it, it just feels wrong to me. So I, I don't know if I want to support that. Uh, okay, so this has been a long rant. And I am sorry about it. But I felt like I have to give reasons why there has been a break on Me Mech Warrior Online videos. I still play this game occasionally. Not too often and such. But occasionally I put in a match here and there, and um, but I'm still holding back on actually like seriously playing it. Like if I play two matches a week, that's not overly much for me. That's, I mean, uh, I'm a gamer. I play things, and uh, it's I, I don't put that many hours into Mech Warrior Online at the moment. So there is some reasons why I don't and why I probably w will not for a while longer because I'm waiting to see what will happen. And if you are here still at the very end of this video, thank you very much for watching and listening to this random rambling and ranting. Uh, leave comments below if, if you are so inclined, if you agree or disagree with uh, some of the points I have made and so on. And I mean, if you still require build advice, I keep myself like on par with how things are developing because that's I love this game 
but I just don't agree with all of the things they have been doing and all of the things which are missing, like I said. Uh, so uh, if you still want build advice, feel free to ask, even if I'm not making videos, because I, I'm at least always willing to talk, if nothing else. So, yeah. So, thank you very much for watching again, and this is me signing off for the moment. Hopefully things change and I will start making more MechWarrior online videos. If I, if I ever get the inclination again, you bet there will be more videos. But thank you very much for watching, once again.